Yo, what's going on guys? As you guys could see, we have the M13 unlocked. It just dropped today with the reveal event for Modern Warfare 3. There's actually two ways of unlocking it. Quickly, I'm going to show you how you can get it for yourselves. One of which is in the events. Uh, you got to boot up the Shadow Siege event and assist in killing five commanders. Essentially, it's like a juggernaut helicopter that's spraying at you. You don't need to get the final blow on it. Just empty a few shots into it and it should count and it kind of collectively counts for the whole lobby. Or what you could do is pre-order MW3 and you could see uh, you unlock a blueprint for it right here that we could preview. It's actually uh, animated, which looks really, really sick. I ended up just um, obviously unlocking it through the event and I pre-ordered anyways. Now in today's gameplay with the brand new weapon, your boy ended up dropping some MGBs, high kill gameplays. But first, before we get into that, let me give you guys the best M13C class setup. So starting off, I have the Bruin Flash Grip. Uh, with this, my weapon can come up quicker after sprinting. I get quicker aimed on sight speeds. I'm just a little bit more quick and snappy with my movements. I throw on the 45 round magazine. The fire rate on this is a lot less than it is on the M13B, so you don't burn through ammo super quick. So I don't really think you need the 60 round. You can throw it on if that's what you like, but um, I think the 45 was just perfect. I then throw on the FJX uh, Full Chrome Pro muzzle. This will greatly increase my recoil control, reduce the bounce on the weapon. We got the Bruin Echelon Barrel, which is an M13B attachment. You get damage range and bullet velocity, which you desperately need. If you look at the magazine, it literally says 0.300 uh, blackout rounds, and that reduces the bullet velocity. So you need to have an attachment that can, you know, increase it. And then my final attachment is the Simline Pro Optic. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of the iron sights on this thing. They're pretty much the M13B iron sights. So um, I threw these on so I can clean that up. For the tuning, um, I tuned the rear grip for what the pros are, sprint to fire speed, aimed on sight speed. The muzzle, just fully dedicated it to recoil control. Same for the barrel, recoil steadiness and damage range. And then for the optic, I tuned it for aimed on sight speed, all right? Now you know how to unlock the weapon. You know the best M13C class setup. There's only one thing left to do. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the gameplay. Click that thumbs up button, man. Take seconds of your guys' time. Helps push the video, gives us more exposure without further ado. Frizzy J Jr. popping off with the new N13C. Run it. Put her on me. All right. Uh, we have the M13C, the brand new AR in this game. Literally looks just like the M13B, but I ain't gonna lie, I don't be hitting like it, to be honest with y'all. But there's two ways of unlocking this. Um, you can either complete the reveal event or you can just pre-order the game. And both those ways will get you the weapon unlocked literally immediately, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm not gonna lie, why am I playing hardcore? I honestly don't know why. I think I, I accidentally booted up. Oh shoot, I should put stims on. I accidentally booted up hardcore instead of core. I literally just, I clicked on hardcore instead of quick play. So I completely messed that up. That's, that's my bad. I ain't gonna lie. Nice. There's another guy here too. Nice, we're looking really good right now actually. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, after this, we'll play some core. Again, I did not mean to click on this, but the second I saw it was dome, I'm like, yeah. I kind of want to stay. I actually love dome a lot, so that's why we're playing it. Um, let me know if you, how you guys enjoyed the reveal event. I ain't gonna lie. It was kind of cool. It was definitely better than the Verdansk one where you literally shot at a train and that was it. That was kind of lame. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm glad they ramped it up a little bit. There's like more than two steps to unlocking it and whatnot. Okay, let me let me lock in. I see one right there. Advance, thank you. That's all I wanted. All I wanted was my advance UV. Is he in there? Cool. Nice. Oh my God, we're looking great. Yeah, again, I did not mean to boot up hardcore. That's on me. Cool. Oh my God, we're looking amazing. Woo! This thing does hit in hardcore, I ain't gonna lie. Dude, we are frying right now. This is nice. I feel like the bullet velocity is a little wonky on this thing, too. Holy cow. We are going nuts. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Am I close to my nuke or what, dude? Huh? Let me get out of there. I got this mammon on. Oh my God, we are going nuts. Uh, yeah, I think this has like the blackout rounds on it automatically. I don't know how close we are to the new. 
Good job, teammate. There it is. That's my MGB. I booted up hardcore accidentally and ended up just going absolutely rogue. Holy cow. That was incredible. Oh my God. I didn't even mean to boot this mode up. Oh my God. But yeah, the way you unlock uh, this thing in the event, if you don't, there's an events tab that I'll tell you, but you have to shoot the commanders, which is, it has like a yellow skull next to its name. And you have to destroy those. Literally, you destroy one of them. It's like a helicopter. You guys can all like team up and shoot it. You don't need to have like the final shot or whatever, maybe. This kid's hiding. That's how scared you are of me? Oh, come on, bro. Uh, yeah, once you take one of those out, you'll unlock it, or you could again just pre-order the game. Um, the event's actually a lot of fun. It's not like a, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't. This guy's taking me out again. It doesn't feel like a chore or anything. Like it's actually really enjoyable. There's like different things you have to do. If you haven't played it, you got to do it. Super sick cutscenes. One of the better reveal events they've done. I, I'd put it up there with the Cold War one because that one was incredible. Who's shooting me? Is the guy up top? I'm about to call this nuking, bro. I got the nuke. I don't even care anymore. I also do just enjoy this too, but nice. Let's see. Nice. Good job, teammate. All right, cool. Oh, I hit level 1000. Damn, I only got 50 levels to go. Oh my God, I'm level 1000. That is sick. I'll have to make a video on the blueprint you unlock, to be honest. Damn, we just, we just hit level 1000 right here. That's honestly amazing. Oh my God. Nice. Only 50 levels to go until I'm max level. All right. This is starting to slow down a little bit. I think I'm going to call my nuke in here. I'll give this, like, this life one more go. If I can't do anything, I'm calling it in. But once I get the... Oh, nice. Went the UAV. I was about to say, once I get the streaks going, it's usually game over. Throw that against the wall, maybe. No hits on that? Nice. I got UAV. Thank you. Okay. I I, dude, I should never called it in. We already had one up. Nice. Bloodthirsty. Oh, we're looking good. They also added a double weapon XP, double XP, double battle pass XP, all that. for. I think it's going to be for like three days or something. Maybe all week. I honestly don't know. Maybe until Monday or something. Okay. These kids are annoying. I'm calling my nuking. Let's get into a core game because that's what I meant to play. I, I don't know why I'm in hardcore. I only have 43 kills. Honestly, that went so good for, for being hardcore. I'm going to be honest. Why, he's just like... Oh, bro, like... Oh, he thinks I'm cheating. Is that what he said? I ain't gonna lie, bro. You're just bad at the game. GG. M13B or C. I mean, it's damn near the same thing. They do feel a little bit different. They look the exact same. Let's get to some core. Again, my bad. Wrong playlist. Later on me. Oh, whoa. Someone hit me with the flash? You guys are laying on the ground? Bro, what is going on? Let me meet these guys real quick. All right, we're in some core, finally. My bad. Again, I don't. I didn't mean to load up any hardcore at all. I, I, complete accident, but it was fun. It was good. We got a, a quick little nuke. They're throwing gases over here now, really? I can't even snake anymore. Like, that's actually so annoying. Dude! Oh my god, I hate, dude. That is the most annoying thing in the world. But yeah, this thing's. Uh, it's all right. It ain't all that. This build I have is for like zero recoil on it. You can see it's actually very accurate. Holy cow. If you don't have any attachments on this thing, the recoil is going to be a mass. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. It is a really, really bad. If you don't have uh, any attachments on it, like the recoil is all messy. I don't know what makes it so weird like that. I mean, it has a slower fire rate than the... As a slower fire rate than the M13B, but it, it, it's just way more inaccurate. I don't know. It's so weird. This thing could have been a lot better, I'm going to be honest. It is what it is, though. Who knows? I mean, I, I guess it's here. It's cool. We changed the letter and set it to new weapon, even though it looks identical to the M13B. It's crazy, because you honestly wouldn't know the difference if you didn't fire the weapon. Like, it literally looks the exact same. You got to make sure you do... Nice. I wanna... Oh, my God. I'm going nuts. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go ahead. We are Woo! Give me my give me my new. Nice. Oh my god. Dude, MGB. MGB like that. I mean, yeah, it's good on a 
If y'all gonna rank it up or use this thing, a small map is a necessity. I mean, you kind of gotta play on a small map. It doesn't feel bad on it. The damage might be a little bit better on this compared to the M13B because it has those like blackout rounds on it already. And I'm pretty sure that's actually increased your, your damage if I'm not mistaken. I'm... I at least feel like it does. I don't know. Nice, nice. There's only 11 levels to it as well. So you'll literally rank it up in like a game or two. It's unbelievably quick. And it's like that because obviously this and the M13B share a lot of attachments together. The 11 levels are just new attachments for the weapon as well. And obviously you'll unlock tuning and whatnot after reaching max rank with it. But that's why there's like no levels to it whatsoever. Cause like all there's barrels and rear grips and all of that is shared with the M13B. I wasn't ready, I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't paying attention. We're at 47 kills. I wanna try to get 100, because that hardcore game kinda ended quick and I didn't really get to do much. So I'm gonna try to pop off a little bit more. Maybe get myself a little, little 100 kill gameplay. So a slight, little something different. Nice. I did pre-order um, the game as well. Obviously, I already talked about that. Um, I, I do wanna talk about it a little bit more because I really think it's worth it. So you get the Black Cell for season one, right? But you also get 50 tier skips. I mean, you're, the whole battle pass gets skipped. You're gonna get the the new weapons immediately for the first season. Um, like, you know, Black Cell's included in it. The base game's already, what, like 70 bucks, right? Black Cell's usually, what, 20, 30 dollars? So that's 100 right there. And that's not even including, you know, that there is already paying for itself. And on top of that, you're also getting, you know, 50 free tier skips. The battle pass, that's, the tier skips alone is maybe like 40, 50 bucks. It's unbelievable. And then you also get the battle pass for free, which is another 10. So it's like 60 bucks of free content you're already getting. There's a uh, weapon vaults or whatever that is. I'm guessing it's just like, maybe like blueprints, two free blueprints or whatever, maybe. Nice. I think it messed up like a radar. I can't see anyone. So I think it's worth it. I don't know. It's up to you guys if you're gonna, if you're willing to cough up a hundred bucks, but I mean, if you are, uh, I mean, you're basically set all the way to like season two of Modern Warfare 2. Because you're going to have, you know, Black Cell, the Battle Pass, Tier Skips, all that. So you ain't got to worry about a bat purchasing Battle Pass until season two, which is unbelievable. And usually we don't get cool bundles until, you know, later seasons anyway. So usually there's nothing really worth purchasing until then. So that's just me personally. Like you're good for a few months when the game drops, which is kind of cool. That's why I always purchase those. Also, obviously, I make content, so I'm going to be playing the game regardless. Oh, did I forget to mention you also get a blueprint for the M13C? Yeah, so. I think you're, at the end of the day, as time goes on, I think you're probably, you're saving money more than anything. Call this in real quick. Overwatch job. I'm getting lightheaded. I am just going nuts right now. Hold on. These guys are... Dude, I want to get my advance, but now they have a counter up, which is annoying. I don't know these guys are at. I'm just gonna play smart. I need 50 points for my there. Thank you. Woo! Save my teammates life, I think, too. Oh my god, thankfully I actually won that gunfight. What are we at? 80. I need 20 more kills for 100 on a new A new nuke streak, which is nice. Throw my stuff over there. No kills. I need this I want this counter to go away and then I'm gonna start rushing around. I'm gonna throw my Get some more ammo, get another lethal and tactical. Who took my homie out? What the hell? Hey, I ain't gonna lie, this counter's lasted a little too long for my liking. What, like, why does this take us long? Thank you. Advance, there we go. This guy literally right around the corner. I would have never even known if I didn't call my advanced in. Okay, I'm gonna rush around a little bit more. They know we're in this corner. We can't move. There's nothing we can do. There we go. They're trying to slide at me. We're on another nuke streak, by the way. I'm gonna try to lock in. Hold up. Nice. Oof. Guy's literally right around that corner. Later, homie. Okay. Oh, shoot. You got to mantle that? Bro, what are we... We lost the lead, but I already have a... I already have a nuke, so we're going to win regardless. Okay. Anyone else? Come on. We're, we're, we're getting close to another nuke here. Okay. Oh, my God. Thank you, teammate. Oh, my God. My teammate saved my life. Flashbang. Let me get out of there. Oh my god. Oh, I got another nuke. What? 
since when? Oh my god, I jumped over him. He had no clue. 103 kills. Time's winding down. We have a little bit more time. Yeah, dude, up close. This thing does some work. It's just like the bullet velocity is weird. And oh, wait, what are we laying on the ground for still? Oh my god, these guys are getting plastered. Yeah, the bullet velocity is a mess. The recoil control is a little weird with the wrong setup on. It's not even fun to use. So yeah, make sure you run the setup. I think this is the best that we'll get. If you don't think it's good, I'm gonna be honest, it's literally the weapon. I mean, I don't know. Maybe with some time they buff it or change it or something, but I think it was kind of a bad move to add another M13. I really, really don't think we needed another M13. One was more than enough. That's just me. Call my nuke in. MGB, there it is. Two nukes in one game, over 100 kills. Dude, again, I got so thrown off with that first gameplay. It felt so weird. Played hardcore by accident, and we ended up like actually getting something. I did not mean to do that, but anyway, if you guys enjoyed the hardcore gameplay, I'll throw some more in there for it. I'm gonna give you guys the best class for this M13C. Honestly, you're probably just better off just, um, you know, on, using these attachments on the M13B. Final scoreline, 114 kills, two nukes, one game. Come on, baby.